All right, good morning, day 11 uh, at the Silver City Post Office. I'm gonna pick up my resupply box and then uh, just dump everything in my pack and head out. So we're only probably gonna do about 13 to 15 miles today to a water source uh, just outside and that's gonna be on the heel alternate. So it should be an inter interesting day. Something, uh, I should get some good video anyway later on once I leave town. So I'm gonna get my box when they open and head out. All right, well, we're almost at the end of our seven mile road walk this morning and been just waiting to get to the Gila National Forest. Everyone talks about the Gila. I've been pretty hyped about it. Um, I know there's probably like Gila monsters and the Gila cult. Wait, well, hold on, hold on a second. What? No, you, what? Really? It's pronounced Gila. Gila. Yeah, I knew that. I'm just going with you. No, I'm just excited to almost be done with this road walk. So, pretty cool. Fire danger. Looks like, uh, looks like I'm going to die in a fire today. So, but at least I got a sign telling me so I can mentally prepare because I hate to go in ill prepared to have a wildfire experience. It looks like I could walk over there and change it and be much safer, but I'll just leave it where it's at. All right, well, I'm going to see where I'm at on the map. All right, this section is absolutely amazing. I mean, once you get off that highway and off that road and into this Gila National Forest area, it is amazing. Um, and it's definitely got a southwest feel. Um, just because of how dry it is and everything, but I mean, if you didn't know better, you could pass it off for somewhere in northern Wisconsin, kind of. Maybe, okay, no, 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 Montana, something like that. Um, but super pretty. So we're almost to the end of this alternate, and then we'll actually get on the Gila alternate. But we're in the Gila National Forest now, and I'm pretty excited about it. Kind of builds your spirits up a little bit as opposed to walking on a highway. It's been very pretty walk up here. I mean, a lot of pretty houses and things like that. So if you're ever moving to New Mexico, Silver City, head out towards the Gila, it's really pretty. Actual, well, you know, we're on the Gila alternate, but we're really close to where the official alternate starts, and uh, we'll have some bushwhacking going on and things like that early on. Apparently, they had some damage from some storms or some snow melt or so I don't know what, but part of the trails washed out or damaged or something. So I'll get some video of that, but yeah, just looking good, looking good and feeling good. We just had a little break and my feet feel pretty good, knees feel pretty good. Good times. feel like I got a few miles left in there. I think Fish Tank is doing his vlog back there. He is, and we got space pants with us now. So, added another amigo to the trip. It's looking good.
All right. This up and down on the Gila alternate is a little sick, but it's a little late for this warning and all that. But what else? I gotta check my map, see which direction we're going here. It's pretty, there's no question. It's very pretty out here, but we're putting in a lot of work. Right, well, we made it to Bear Creek um, <laughs> by 2.30. This was kind of our destination until we got here so early. So what we're going to do is have something to eat, uh, take a huge, huge break, and then figure out if we want to move on or not. So it's been a really good day. And this is, this is going to be a hard spot to give up <laughs> and leave, but we'll see what happens. All right, just coming along and we're about to leave the comfort of our groomed road and uh, hit a little more actual trail action, but we come along this old cabin. And that is an old time one. Look how big the logs are on there. It's got some fat logs. Pretty cool. All right, well, we're Looks like we're going to push about a 20 mile day out of town, which really wasn't in the playbook, but the day just allowed for it. I mean, we took a two hour break with a nap and everything. So uh, as much as we're pushing, we're really not. Um, we're going to clock out this 20 miles. The trail's a little goofy and hard to keep any speed on right now, but it's, it's still very pretty. and. Every once in a while these trees open up and we get a good view occasionally, so um, feeling pretty good. Uh, feeling a little thirsty, so I'm super hoping there's water up ahead. That's the plan. We're going to try and stop at water, so we're, we're counting on there being water there. The Gut Hook app has people going through the area two days before us and there was water there so we're hoping that that's still the case which I think it will be but anyway what a what a day um, so overall a really good good day coming out of town and setting us up to get into docks Doc Campbell's has some hot springs and stuff like that so that's kind of keeping me moving here and that'll be not tomorrow but probably early the next day which will be nice because then we could spend you know a lot of the day there take a zero day and then head out the next day so it'll almost be like having two days off just about but uh, I'm gonna stop so I don't break my ankle Well, I'm never going to get to camp if this keeps up, but holy crap. Oh, yeah. That's, you know what? That's probably the best view of the hike so far. Best view of the hike so far. Agree. This is just amazing. So it makes me, makes me feel good about just sucking wind right now. Because I don't know how you, how you top this. Oh my god. Yeah. And it's the Regis tree. CDT. A lot of camping here, but we're going to go another hour. But that was cool. All right, well, that's uh, winding down the end of day 12. Um, and we did do like a 21, maybe even 21 plus day. Um, feel pretty good. Uh, everyone feels pretty good. 
Um, I set up my camp here. I did have to move some mountain lion turds to set up my tent, so I'm sleeping in his litter box tonight. We'll see how that goes. And um, that's about it. I'm gonna have something to eat real quick. I know it seems super bright out, but it's gonna get dark quick. I don't even, I don't know what time it is, but um, what a what a great full day. There was great uh, views. Um, we ran into some water at the end of the day, which was super nice. Um, yeah, we're set up for a, a not easy, but um, not pushing it uh, to get to Doc Campbell. So that's gonna feel really good. Other than that, that's that's about it. I'm gonna take my shoes off, have a snack, and hopefully get some good sleep. So good night.